And how is the salary? Salary is uh, quite good for engineers. Um, I th do you want to hear a number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, you say the number and we will cry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In Turkey, uh, in the mechanical university, 80% uh, or 80% men mm -hmm. and maybe one or two girls. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. How is in Netherlands? I think it's pretty similar. Yeah, okay. A lot of men, yeah. Girls joining. Trend yollar reklam aldık. Cut, cut, cut. Bize suyumuzu getiren trend yoldan Allah razı olsun. Okulundan olduğunu yeni sezonun yeni misafirlerimizle, uluslararası misafirlerimizle bugün buradayız. Hi. 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 Can you introduce yourself? Sure. Um, my name is Toon van Sambeek. I'm uh, 24 years old. Uh, I studied in Eindhoven, the Netherlands. Eindhoven. Yeah. I uh, graduated three months ago from mechanical engineering. And uh, now I'm uh, doing a little travel through Europe. Yeah, three, three months ago. That's new. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why you choose your department? Um, so mechanical engineering, um, first of all, my brother was doing it. So I think that's a big, he played a big role in that because uh, yeah, I saw him as an example for me. Mm. Um, and second of all, I really didn't know what to choose at that age. Um, and engineering seemed appealing to me. Um, and then the deadline of choosing came closer and closer. So uh, I just went with it because I was interested in uh, engineering. Uh, my brother did it and I didn't know what else, so I went for it. Uh, yeah. How is the choosing department in your country? So the assistance they, uh, they give. Well, what do you mean? Uh, in Turkey, we choose uh, with an exam to the department. All right. So, um, how do they uh, accept me? Yeah. How yeah, do I uh, yeah. apply for the studies? Um, Because you I say can, uh, there can. is a deadline, and uh, in Turkey there is no deadline. There is an exam at the point, and uh, you choose the university with your point. Right. Um, so in Netherlands, um, I did my final exams at uh, high school. Yeah. And um, if you meet up to the to requ requirements of the exams, you can choose a study. And in my case, I could um, start directly without an entrance yeah. test or anything, because at the moment the demand for uh, engineers is really high. Um, so the grades that I got for uh, my universe, um, my high school, um, didn't really matter as long as I passed it. Mm, okay. Uh, you said your brother is mechanical engineer too, and yeah. uh, what you see in his mechanical engineering career? Um, so he's working at um, a quite a small company, and they are uh, producing um, specific machinery, so for customers, um, not on big scale. So a customer has a specific problem, and they want a machine uh, designed for that. And um, at this point, uh, I think he's a designer as well. Mm. Uh, in mechanical engineering, uh, how can, uh, what kind of jobs can you do? Only designing or? Uh, no, I, I think you can, um, uh, so yeah, designer, but you can also, for example, become uh, a process engineer, which uh, focuses more on, um, on, on uh, like uh, factory flow, um, but um, eventually, if you if you have the interest in it, you can also start programming, uh, simulating, um, working at power plants. Uh, energy technology is a very big uh, part of mechanical engineering, um, and it's pretty close to civil engineering as well. Civil engineering, uh, construction engineering. Ah, so okay bridges, buildings, infrastructure. Okay. Uh, what is your expectations when you get to university? Um, my expectations before I started, um, I knew it was going to be quite difficult. 
it's not, uh, I would say it's not the easiest study to pick. Uh, my expectations were that I had to make a lot of calculations, um, which is true, <laughs> because I saw my brother struggling with it. Uh, and I guess my expectations uh, were quite accurate. So it was quite difficult I had to do a lot of calculations, but I also expected to learn a lot from that. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, how is the living uh, and the social part of the university? So my university, which was um, Fontes University of Applied Science, uh, they had some student communities there. Um, I personally didn't join them, but uh, a lot of people did. And um, yeah, they, they study together, but they also organize events and they go partying together. So yeah, there is uh, quite some community uh, life. Technical University of Eindhoven, they also have a big um, sports complex and they do uh, competition tournaments in there. And um, yeah, it's, it's a very popular place for students as well. Uh. In Turkey, uh, in the mechanical university, uh, eight percent or eight percent men, mm -hmm. and maybe one or two girl. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. How is in Netherlands? I think it's pretty similar. Yeah, okay. a lot of men. Yeah, I I think that um, the the there are more and more girls joining. Trend yollar reklam aldık. Cut, cut, cut. Bize suyumuzu getiren trend yoldan Allah razı olsun. So, uh, you stay in the uh, student house or uh, with yeah. your family? Uh, student house. Student house. Uh, how is the rent? How much is the rent? Um, my rent is about uh, 285 euros a month. Um, but then there are some expenses like electricity, water. Yeah. Um, but I think the average is a bit higher. I think um, a lot of students pay around 400 euros a month. Oh. If you uh, want to live in the center of the city. How, how, much, how many students uh, stay in one place? Only in, you? In my place, uh, we are with five. Ah, okay. so, but we pay uh, those 285 each. Yeah, yeah. Is the house wide or like the box? Um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite big. Not, not, we have all separate rooms um, of like uh, 12 to 14 square meter. Um, and we have a shared kitchen, shared bathroom, shared yeah. living room, shared garden. But yeah, we, we have enough space. Yeah, okay. But I think, again, there are a lot of students that don't have enough space. Uh, yeah. I guess we're quite lucky, yeah. Yeah, you are so lucky. <laughs> Down the turkey. <laughs> Uh, then, uh, how is the uh, finding job? Um, at the moment, within engineering in the Netherlands, there are a lot of job opportunities. So if you graduated uh, mechanical engineering, uh, electrical engineering, software, um, you have loads of, of uh, opportunities. Um, I didn't apply for a job yet, because after graduated graduation I didn't start working right away. Um, but. Uh, what I've seen from uh, my uh, classmates, friends, and my brother um, is that it's very, very. Uh, the demand for engineers is very high at the moment. Mm. Uh, they can, if you, if they want, uh, they can find the job one day or two day. Yeah, I think it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the so hard in Turkey. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I heard of it. Uh, our engineers <coughs> wait maybe one year, two year. Mm -hmm. They couldn't find the job. Mm. Uh, and how is the salary? Salary is uh, quite good for engineers. Um, I th do you want to hear a number? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, you say the number and we will cry. I think if you have a, uh, if you find a good job, your starting salary will be uh, around uh, two thousand five hundred euros. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> on, on my on my level. Uh. So on one level? Yeah, on like um, oh, from my university. Because you have uh, basically one uh, level higher, which is a bit more academic. Yeah. Um, and then the salary obviously will be a bit higher as well. Uh, if you want, uh, uh, you can stay in university and PhD or something. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, how is PhD in the Netherlands? Uh, personally, I don't really know. I don't know too many people who did it. Um, but I think is it popular? Um, not too much, I think. I think the only people that do it are really uh, dedicated to their project um, because it takes four years. A lot of people that finished uh, uh, a study within engineering uh, had most of them had quite a rough time <laughs> uh, so a lot of them are also like really done with studying but uh, yeah a few decide to do their PhD and work for four years more on it but I don't think uh, most of them do most of them will find a job after yeah uh, after PhD uh, they can if they want uh, they can they have much salary or uh, if they that profit something mm -hmm. to them Yeah, definitely. Yeah, If okay. you did a PhD, your salary is going to be higher. Uh, then, uh, how is the uh, what is the worst department or best department in high in university? Uh, regarding job opportunities, I would say, uh, from my knowledge, engineering are one of the best. And the worst, that's difficult, but uh, I think uh, tourism is quite difficult to find a job and. Um, social studies, political studies, yeah. but I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, uh, then how is the medicine, uh, being a doctor? Uh, I think if you study for being a doctor or a dentist, there are quite some opportunities, yeah. Uh, how much year the uh, being a doctor, four like you, or five, six? How much years of study? Yeah, yeah. More, I th uh, I'm not sure, but at l I think at least six. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, today yeah. is six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is the uh, finding a job uh, from other country like Turkey? Yeah, so I think that uh, depends a lot on the department. For example, if you go uh, in uh, working in a hospital or something like that, uh, you need to learn the Dutch language, which is can be a boundary for a lot of people. Um, but in engineering. Um, For example, in my case, in engineering, uh, especially the big companies, there are loads of international employees. Um, and in big companies, the, the main language, language is often English as well. So that makes it a lot easier for, for yeah. people from abroad. Then, if I know a good English and uh, I can find a job in Netherlands? Yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> uh, they want any uh, project or something or CV? Uh, yeah, I think they want a CV definitely. Um, uh, experience might be good as well, but at the moment I think the demand is so high that even though you don't have a lot of experience, um, you can find a job as well. Yeah, within engineering. Okay, uh, I will ask you five questions, and uh, I want to uh, you give one to ten point. Right. Okay. Uh, one. First question, uh, did you get enough education? Yes. One to, um, ten. <laughs> <laughs> one to ten, I would say eight. Okay. Uh, how is the atmosphere in student life? Uh, in my city, eight. Okay. Uh, how is the uh, university's possibilities? Um, Technical or other things. Yeah, I would say nine. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, finding job after the university must be ten. <laughs> Let's say ten, <laughs> yeah. Uh, is your expectations become real? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I would say nine. Nine, okay. Yeah, and Tasa Tara Satalum Hollanda Gidelum Temala. Okay. <gülüyor> Üzücü. <gülüyor>